Hi there, this is Mark Gittleman, speech-language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. This particular video today is about overcoming negative emotions, and uh, I'm referring quite a bit to uh, the history that I've had working with people who've had aphasia and other speaking difficulties. And when first meeting them, uh, often there are some who uh, are happy and are engaged and uh, want to do everything they can to improve their speaking. Then there are others also who um, are quite negative and they're frustrated and they're angry and they're depressed. And often that's due to the fact that uh, something that they have prized all their lifetime has been taken from them in a way and uh, they're angry about that. They're upset about that. Uh, a lot of people I've, I've met who were angry and upset, they were the type of people who were uh, very conversant. They talked a lot. They conversed with other people. They were the life of the party sometimes. And so quite often when I'd first meet them, they'd come in and they'd be angry and frustrated and maybe they'd been to one, two, th three other therapists and no one seemed to be able to help them. And so there was a feeling of depression. There was a feeling that they are uh, at the point of almost giving up. <laughs> you know, uh, quite often when I would see people they were uh, kind of at the end of their proverbial rope. They'd been to numerous other people and just didn't get the results that they wanted or they were unhappy with the type of therapy that they were getting or their spouse wasn't involved or just any number of uh, things. And um, when we started working with them and showing them a way to improve their speaking, and using some methods that other therapists weren't using, uh, these people started to have a change of mind. They started uh, being happier. <laughs> and uh, many would show up with their spouses, and uh, instead of uh, letting their spouses go to Walmart or uh, out and run errands, uh, one of the requirements that we had, uh, or I had, was uh, that a caregiver or care partner had to be sitting in on the session. And as that happened, we started teaching caregivers how to stimulate speech and language. And then we started to teach them how to stimulate speech and language in a conversation. So that what would happen is that the three of us would have conversations, uh, stimulated conversations, and whoop, I'm gonna throw some garbage away. Uh, we'd have some stimulated conversations about lots of interesting topics. And, uh, Many of them would be fun topics. Many of them would be historical topics of maybe their relationship or when they got married or, or something, that, uh, something funny that happened uh, in the past or um, a mistake that was made along the way when they were younger. All kinds of subjects we talk about. And as we would talk about these subjects, uh, we would talk about them at the level of complexity that the person with aphasia had. So in some cases, there was one word or two words or three words. And uh, as we'd work longer and longer, what would happen is that they started producing phrases. And then we'd stay at the phrase level for a while. And then uh, they'd get pretty good at that. So. When they'd get pretty good at that, then we'd go to the sentence level. And before you knew it, they started talking on their own. And what happened? 
what a change of heart these people had. They became happier. They became uh, fun. And uh, they could let go of the anger and the frustration. We used to work with one person like that, and uh, he used to always bring gifts to the clinic. At first he came in, he was angry, he was upset, he was depressed. So was his family. But with time, as he started developing the ability to speak, um, he was happy. And when he was happy, he was very giving. So he'd bring things to uh, the clinic and he'd bring things to share uh, for all the therapists who uh, worked with him because why? Because he was glad. Why? Because he was happy. Why? Because he wanted to speak again. He was committed to speak again. And finally, there was a method that could help him learn to speak again and a method that could be shared with his family so that his family could be stimulating his speech and language throughout the day. And that's what the research says, that the more intensive the speech and language stimulation, the better the results. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, talking about negative emotions with aphasia and some of the ways that negative emotions become diminished, especially when the therapy is appropriate, when the therapy is fun, when the therapy is simple. And if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And down below this video are a number of links. One is to our website where you can go and check out a number of videos and information there. And there's also a link to a questionnaire down below if you'd like to speak with me personally. And there's also a link to our Facebook page, which we hope you'll join our community. And there is also <laughs> a link if you'd like to get weekly videos and blogs. So on that, I'm going to say goodbye and wish you, the, wish you a great day. And just remember that usually when an individual has a lot of negative emotion, um, they're not uh, achieving something that they want very much. They're upset. They're frustrated because they can't seem to, to do what they most ardently desire. And there are therapists out there who are really expert and they're experienced and they know what to do. And yet there are some also who are inexperienced and maybe aren't sure what to do. So what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that you find the right approach and you find the right therapist. And we provide uh, in-service training to speech pathologists and we teach them the teaching of talking method, which is a conversational method which is really a lot of fun and uh, really helps people speak again. And um, if you'd like more information about that, just check us out down below and get in touch with me if you'd like. So have a great day. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, wishing you uh, all the very best and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.